Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're having something actually pretty similar that we had like a couple of weeks ago or something like that. We have here the Deepcool Matrix 70 case. This is the standard without RGB, but we're not going to talk about it again. Today we're having something that you've seen it already, but I didn't say anything about it. We have the Castle 240 RGB all-in-one AIO liquid cooling system. Now, this is really actually cool thing from Deepcool and actually when I was at Computex I've seen some new stuff from Deepcool which are really really interesting and I have to say I'm really excited to get my hands on those parts and to test them out for you guys but today we're going to have something well you'll see right now. Now as you can see the Castle 240 RGB lights on and you have, I mean, you have the possibility to uh, adjust the RGB light to a controller. Now I have the controller right here at the back, as you can see. It comes with two, uh, two 120 millimeter RGB fans and you have a 240 millimeter radiator, of course. And you have a really nice design of the uh, pump and the CPU block, as you can see here. Now. The RGB can be adjusted, you can adjust the colors as you wish, then you have a breathing effect. Now also you can adjust the modes, so you, you can have different varieties of changing colors. But basically with the controller you can adjust anything and if you don't want a controller you have the splitter to connect everything to your motherboard and adjust everything through your uh, motherboard software. So you have the MSM Mystic Lights, you have the Asus Aura Sync, you have the uh, Gigabyte RGB Fusion, uh, you have the Biostar uh, Vivid LED DJ. You could actually manage uh, however you wish. And uh, here are some uh, main features that they usually represent on the box, which is uh, really cool to have, you know, uh, it's easier for you to understand. So it has a double-sided mirror effect, an immersive ambient lighting, uh, as you can see, definitely, oh, let me just change it so it does actually something. There we go. So I placed it to automatically change colors as it goes uh, it's not synchronized currently with the motherboard because I wanted to test out the RGB controller directly uh, through the uh, well the RGB controller right so it has 16.7 million colors addressable RGB LED with extra wired controller can offer you a fully dynamic lightning experience now the thing is it says here addressable RGB when you connect it, when you use the extender that you get with the uh, Castle uh, 240 RGB, you connect it to 5 volts, not 12 volts, uh, so it has 3 pin uh, for the uh, lights. Now next to that, as I said, it says here also, the RGB light can be synchronized and controlled by the motherboard with the addressable RGB header. As I said, you connect the 3 connectors, so you have 2 connectors for your fans, you have one connector for the castle pump and block for the CPU, you connect it to the splitter and then you connect it to the motherboard. It has a bigger copper base, so it, it ensures a full coverage and rapid heat dissipation for any size of the CPU. Basically it uh, supports uh, Threadripper, so yeah, I mean, it supports AM4, uh, it supports basically any Ryzen processors and it supports uh, any Intel sockets as well. The uh, E-shaped micro uh, water channel design can effectively enhance the heat circulation efficiency and enlarge the thermal contact area. Ceramic bearing and axle pump uh, guarantees an ultra long service life so this is really cool because you get uh, better quality uh, through the pump so better quality when it comes to pumping water I mean it's funny when I say it like that but uh, better flow and long-lasting pump life which is really important. I mean if you buy an uh, all-in-one uh, cooler and you want it to last longer, you don't want it to, I don't know, have it for a few weeks, few months, maybe a year and then 
the pump dies you have to change everything and you know uh, do an RMI and send it back and stuff like that that is really unnecessary now the fan speeds are uh, up to uh, 1800 rpms plus minus 10 percent uh, that also depends you can connect them through the controller that you get with the uh, castle 240 RGB because uh, you have four possible connections and on the controller and then you can connect it directly to your motherboard so it's a more kind of a splitter than actual uh, controller because you connect the controller to the motherboard to the 4 pin uh, PWM and then you control it through the motherboard now next to that uh, it you have all these kind of uh, specifications, fan noise uh, and stuff like that but I know what you're interested in. you want to see the temperature uh, when everything is uh, working now uh, talking about the current temperature and when the state of the processor is in idle so we have here Intel Core i5-9600K uh, when it's in idle it goes from 30 to 30 to Celsius degrees which is kind of right now uh, let's turn on the Battlefield 5 for instance it's that is a bit uh, you know a stronger game which kind of takes up the resources even though they are uh, lately lately like a couple of two years are uh, basically making games that are suitable for lower range cards and low range processors but still we're going to play Battlefield 5 and basically see how much does it pump the processor up with the temperature and with the Castle 240 RGB cooling from Deepcool. So guys, really impressive score, isn't it? Now I played with, uh, it was medium uh, details and some were high on Battlefield 5. So when processor goes up to 100%, uh, 
the processor temperature with Castle uh, 240 RGB goes up to 60, 62 degrees, which is really cool. And if you're playing on medium, medium to high uh, details, it goes up to 52 to maybe 57, depending on the percentage that the processor is used, of course. But uh, incredible how the Castle uh, 240 RGB cools the processor without a problem. Now, we, uh, we do have a low range processor here. It's the 9600K which still isn't uh, like the premium the top high-end processor from Intel but still it needs to be cooled and as I said the idle temperature is 30 to 32 and here we have like 20 degrees up uh, Celsius when playing games usually it goes even more but I mean, Castle does it really nice, uh, and that's all there is to it. The links are below, guys. Don't forget to check the Deepcool Castle 240 RGB. There's a new model coming out very, very soon. Uh, you'll get uh, some info about it, uh, hopefully shortly. And of course, don't forget to check out Deepcool's social media at the bottom in the description. That's all there is to it, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe below. And see you next time. Bye-bye.